Oprah Winfrey returns to the big screen this month for her first major film role in 15 years. She co-stars in Lee Daniels' The Butler. It's based on the true story of a man who worked in the White House under eight presidents. In some of the most tumultuous years of the 20th century, here's a clip. Sidney Poitier is nothing but a rich Uncle Tom. Look at you. All puffed up. Your hat on your head. Coming in here, saying whatever you want. You need to go. What? Get the hell out of my house! What are you no, doing? No, no, no. Get on out! Now, everybody just. I'm out. sorry, Mr. Butler. I didn't mean to make fun of your hero. Everything you are and everything you have is because of that butler. Oh, we've seen wow. I know, big sigh when you oh, look at it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. welcome to you, Oprah Winfrey. Well, thank you. It feels weird Great to call to you me. Oprah Winfrey. I'm just going to call you Oprah. Okay. So, it, <laughs> so 15 years it took you to come back to the big screen, and I know you had some trepidation. Was it the smoking? Was it the love scene? Was it that it's been 15 years? Well, it was because I was in the middle of uh, building a network, and I said yes. you could not have called me at a worse time. But it's also because it's like an instrument, you know, the, the, the acting tool. And it's like laying down an instrument. If you play piano, you hadn't picked up a piano, you hadn't picked yeah. up a, you know, trombone. Mm -hmm. In 15 years, you put it in the corner. I've given up the idea of acting because I just felt the day job and the complications of trying to figure out somebody who could do a movie at the same time I was also working. I just sort of let that go. But you Lee said you was just persistent. didn't want to be embarrassed. And I thought, how could you But be Lee was persistent. Lee was like, listen, I wrote this for you. You and uh, Danny Strong and I wrote this for you, and you have to say yes. So I ended up saying yes because of the story. Yeah. I felt and, that. The and it ought to be said, story. acting is tough, and you've got some tough things to deliver here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little. And I was a little. I was really nervous about it. So I actually called in an, an acting coach and for after, the first time. For the first time, and Susan Batson said to me, um, "I think you ha I have you have the ability to access it because you still are far more vulnerable." Mm -hmm. Because I called her and because I have trouble crying. Can you believe that? No. Uh, <laughs> okay. I have trouble crying if you ask me to do it on, on cue. cue. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, after 20 minutes of, you know, bawling on the sofa after she'd been with me for 20 minutes, she said, you still have the vulnerable spaces, yeah. so you'll be able to go in and access, access that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what Oprah, did you like? I, I had no trouble crying during this movie because it is so emotionally riveting. Obviously, there's great acting, but the story. Oh, thank the you story. so much, and, and I think it's a one, let's talk about the story, because it is about the butler. It's a real life story of Eugene Allen, yes. who, who served eight presidents. You, in the movie, he's called Cecil Gaines, and you pay the wife, yeah. Gloria Gaines. Why was this story so important to tell? Because I think the women of the civil rights movement, the women who stood by their men, the women who had to repress their own heart's desires, their own ambitions, because the world saw you in this box, I think that they played a vital and uh, essential role to the movement, but nobody ever talks about mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And I think that entire era of women deserves, you know, not just applause, yeah. but deserves to be celebrated and honored. And also at the time, before I started working with Susan, I thought, well, it's, it, you know, it's just the wife and it won't take that long. And, <laughs> and then I realized every sing, every line, every, you know, to do three lines is, is essential. So it took a lot more work than I thought at the time. But the, the, the ability to tell that story so that the generation, our generation, it affirms what we already know about history, but there's a whole generation that will now have an opportunity to be exposed to it. It's so amazing. It's going an to education for a lot of people. Yeah, it's because, a forward you know, suite through history and you get all the connections. Yes, and it's a, it's a drama, it's a history lesson, and it's a love story. But the thing is, you know, I speak at a lot of schools, used to speak at a lot of schools when I had the time, and I came to see that uh, Martin Luther King was just a speech for kids. It was just an I have a dream and then some kids get up and recite it, but they had no sense of what that meant, the context of what that meant. So this offers that, that, that you know, I think a great opportunity for kids. I'm not, I'm not saying that you were hard to direct, but Lee Daniels did say you asked a whole lot of questions during the set. Yeah. I, because, but first of all... You want to know, like, details. Well, I, I wanted to know. He, he's speaking specifically about during, during the love scene when Forrest and I are in bed together. I want to know what time of day is it? Because <laughs> is it and morning why sex? why does that matter? Because is it morning sex or is it evening sex? Is it afternoon? <laughs> Did we just come home in the afternoon? And, and they're all they, different, aren't they? They're all different, <laughs> okay. Charlie. Wait, how long? This interview has been going on... Oprah, this interview has been going on two minutes, and now you've gotten to our favorite subject on this show, which we, we, get, we, we touch on it every single day, don't we? 
in but, some but way. Nobody ever if the opening like presents that. itself, we grab it. Yes, grab it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You do. If you're in bed, don't you want to know what time it is? Because yeah, what's bed. going on depends on, you know, do I have to get up? Not I only what I'm thinking, but and, okay. And okay. on that point, you, this is not just about the butler. And of course, in the backdrop is the civil rights movement. Yeah. It's about a love story. Oh, my God. Yes. Can we talk about Force Whitaker? Yes. Yes. Oh. As I said, through the roof, but even yes. bigger. Through yeah. the roof, but even bigger. Yes. Because, you know, when I first saw the film, Roger Ebert told me years ago that when, you know, when I did The Color Purple, he goes, don't look at it for five years because you can't really see yourself, which is true. Huh. So you can't see yourself. But when I finished the film for the first time, what I saw and felt was that Forrest was able to evoke the soul of not just Eugene Allen, but every man in that era. You know, you feel that, and through that, you feel the spirit of the nation through that performance. And everybody cries at this movie at different points and for different reasons. There was something released about Barbara Bush. Lee was saying that Barbara Bush had seen it and she cried, but people cry at different times, and it's quite often Forrest. Forrest got two things for me. One was dignity. He yes. got the dignity of the man. What about that scene when he goes in and he has seen the it, it goes in. We both love that as our favorite yeah. scene. He yeah. goes in and he knows the guy's going to say, if it's a choice between doing what you asked me to do uh, and not, you can leave. You can leave. Yes. And he reminds him, I've already told the president, this is what you might say. Yes. And the president said he'd like to talk to you first. Oh, my goodness. This is the context of asking for that the butlers in the White House, right. the black butlers, were paid less than, than white staff yes. in the White House. So he goes in. You know what's so um, remarkable about this film? It is, I think, indicates that there are two different ways or multiple ways to protest. Right. Uh, for the father of that generation and that period, that was major for him. Think about how long it would take him to go in and ask for more money and the risk that he would take. He could have been fired. That was his way of being a warrior. Mm -hmm. and, and the for, son had another and, way. And for his son, that was another way. And the truth is, both ways were right. We're right. Both that way. time. And, and, That's what this movie yeah. is about. We're, both we're, ways.